Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make an easy, small document holder with a tuck spot and a fold-out. But first, let's have our shout-out to Ellen, Julie, Julie, Rachel, Alice, Luann, Tina, Jojo, Noreen, and Vero. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a beautiful digital here. This is from Ruby and Pearl on Etsy, and I have coffee dyed the back. This paper is approximately 10 and a half inches by 8 inches. And what we want to do is we want to fold it in half this way. So let's get this folded. Now you're going to be able to make two of these from one sheet, one digital sheet, one coffee dyed piece of paper with the dimensions that I just gave you. So then what I want to do is I want to mark the halfway point here, and that's going to be about right here, I think. Let's see here. Let's. Sometimes it's easier if I just do like that. Yep, see, I was off. See, I can measure and I'm still off. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and measuring. I just can't seem to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this. So we'll cut it right here in half. Open this up a little bit, get it in here. There we go. Now we've cut it in half. And so now it just looks like this. Now you're going to want to decide which do you want to be on the front. It's going to be covered up a little bit, but I kind of want, now if I fold it over, because that's what we're going to do, do I like it this way or this way? No, I want mine to be this way. Okay, so we're going to fold this over an inch. So I'm just lining my paper up. I'm going to crease it right here, one inch. And we're folding it over where it's the fold. Okay, not this end, but this end that's folded. So we're just going to fold it over one inch. Just like that. Now I am going to round my bottom, my corners on the bottom. So simply bringing in my corner rounder, rounding my corners. I like to ink, so I'm bringing in my vintage photo and I'm simply going to run my ink sponge around. So I'm just going to do that. I am going to fold it back this way run it here and run it just a little around. Now I'm just going to make one today. I have two more that I've made out of a single sheet of paper that I'll show you at the end. And so now we look just like this. Now I have some documents here and I have used my tear ruler that we made together in a video. Actually it was quite a long time ago. If you're interested in making your own tear ruler, after this video, you know how it will pop up, watch this next, I will link that video for you to click on and then you too can make a tear ruler because this is the time of year that you can grab these plastic rulers, fairly inexpensive because school started and you can make your own tear ruler. So I have, I'm just gonna need one of these right here. Now this is from the Junk Journal Studio and I really appreciate the fact that they put it on here because <laughs> then I will not forget. So I'm going to use one of these. I've already torn it all the way around and I have inked it up. So then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to tear out these two right here. So using my tear ruler I'm just going to quickly tear these out. It just gives it a different look than the scissors and it's nice to do sometimes. And I do know that tear rulers can be very expensive and you don't have to spend all that money. You can make your own. Now these corners are torn the way they printed it. So I'm just tearing it just like that. So I'm dropping my ruler. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tear this out as well. As you can see, it just works fantastic. And you just tear your pages and write around what you want. 
very nice. One more tear. There we go. Now what I want to do is because I've already inked this one right here, I want to go ahead and I want to ink these as well, these two. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. All right, so now I have my three documents here. So let's go ahead and start with the longest one. We're going to place it right up there at the fold area and we're just going to fold it over just like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and fold this one over. You can actually fold it over like this if it's easier for you. And just make a crease there. That's going to be the top one. So it's going to look like this. Now what I want to do is I want to fold this up. I want to leave a little bit so I can see some of my paper, my pretty paper underneath it. So I'm going to fold it up like that. And of course, since I inked, I'm going to ink a little bit. And I'm going to place that right over the top, just like this. So now let's place it right inside, just like that. So it's going to look like this. We've got our little tiny piece and I'm going to place it right here. Now I'm going to bring in a paper clip and I'm just going to clip it right here so I can let it go. I'm going to bring in my art glitter glue and I'm simply going to apply glue here and here. I'm not even going to take it to the point. I'm just going to place a little bit of glue right here. Just enough to tack it down so that we can have a little tuck spot. I'm going to add it right here, just like that. All right, so next let's go ahead and let's secure this. So I'm going to bring in my dish. I've got some washi. I've got a label. I have a beautiful, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but I'm looking here. It is. I've got to grab it. Here it is. This is where it's from, and she is on Instagram, and it's 1924 Linens and More. Just like that. That's where she is, and she's on Instagram. And I'm going to use one of these, so I need to find the middle. So I'm going to simply mark it with my pencil and then I'm going to bring in my punch. I'm going to use the smaller of the two punches and I'm going to open it up. I'm not going to punch it this way. I'm going to open it up and I'm only going to punch it this way. That way our back of our brad, because we're going to use a brad, there's a little brad right there in that dish. Oh goodness, you probably can't even see it, can you? Well, there's a brad right there. And that way, our little backing of our brad, we can cover a little bit better. So let's go ahead and let's punch. Now that just didn't make any sense at all, did it? Mm -mm. <laughs> we are too gonna punch it all the way through. <laughs> okay, Woo. Okay, we're punching our hole. Yes, it went all the way through. We're still going to cover our bread, though. And what I want to do is I want to take this pretty little piece and I'm going to put it through my bread. And I want to make it so the top of it is right along the top of the fold there. And I'm going to open this up like that. And then to cover it, I'm going to take my little, small, little washi on the end here, and I'm simply going to put a little bit of washi on here, just like this. Not only is it going to cover it up a little bit, but it also adds a little, you know, a little something else to it. I'm going to also put a little bit right down here. Mm. 
probably about right here. Okay. Now I have a label by J. Lee Lu, and it will stick right here. Now this doesn't, you know, stay closed very well. So let's go ahead and put a little lace on our paper clip. So I've just got some vintage flat lace, and I'm simply going to put it right through the top, give myself a little bit, snip it off, and just tie a knot. Or just, I don't even know if it has to be a knot. Just give it a little tie so it has a little dangle to it. And then, of course, you know we need to have a little bit of bling. Um, I don't know if I want that darker bling. I think I just want something soft, something like that, some pearls. Flat back pearls right there on the side. As I said, this is a quick and easy, easy piece of ephemera that I think looks awesome. So you could just open this up, just like this, and then you've got your little tuck spot. And then you could open it up further. You've got journaling here. You've got a pull down right here. And you can put that up. You can journal here as well as journaling on all of this. So there really is a lot of journaling area that you can use and jot down your thoughts. And it would look beautiful in a junk journal. Oh my goodness. So, so beautiful. So here's another one that I made. This paper is from Roxy's Creation. And I use the exact same documents from the Junk Journal Studio. And here's the other half of this paper. I think it went this way. The other half of the paper right here. And I just love these. I think they're so much fun. They're super duper easy to make. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.